Hi, Zeppa here. Today on the 27th of March, Jagex made a new blog post about the new skill. And like you can see here on Old School RuneScape's website, um, adding a new skill, introducing sailing, aiming and shamanism. So Jagex is giving us three options for the new skill that we can vote on. And this blog post is long, but I'm just gonna do it real quick here. So Jagex made these three skills and I'm gonna talk about the three skills and give you my first impressions. I checked them just briefly before I started to record. Without further ado, let's get started with the first one. So first skill that Jagex is suggesting is taming. Discover new and existing creatures around the world and tame them into friendly companions. Earn their trust and take care of them and in return they'll aid you on your adventures. Just by reading the first paragraph here, it kinda sounds like summoning. I'm not a huge fan, I've never played RS3 when summoning came out so I have no clue how it'll be. But having a pack yak meta doesn't seem too fancy in my opinion. If you have tried it out and you are familiar with summoning, please tell me how it is in the comments down below. But yeah, let's keep going. With your new taming skill, you'll be able to befriend creatures around Gilinor and take advantage of their unique abilities to explore the world in entirely new ways. Deepen your bond with your new companions by training them up to make their abilities even stronger. So just like level up your pet. It feels a bit like Hunter class in World of Warcraft where you can tame a pet and you can level them up. Which is nice, I've, I've played a hunter, it's, it's a great deal of fun. I don't know if it would fit the old school that well, but let's see what Jagex has to say. Core gameplay loop. Domesticate a creature in the world, care for your new companion, train and level up your friend. Okay. Domesticate. So the actual taming process differs depending on which creature you're, you're trying to tame. Lasses, different kind of food, might all be useful. Taming a creature this way would give some XP, but the bulk of your training will come from carry caring for your companions and leveling them up. The taming of the creature or domesticating the creature shouldn't be the main bulk. I feel like Hunter is already catch animals get XP, so we don't need Hunter 2.0. But the caring part, like level up your pet, I kind of see how that would be the main way to do this and level up the skill. Let's see, once you tamed a creature, a big part of the skill would be looking after it. You'll need to provide it with its favorite food, build it a cozy new home and keep it active. Do all this and you'll have a loyal companion to accompany you on your journey. And keep it active. Uh, this sounds like if if you've had the cat that you have to feed food or fish and you turn your cat into death runes once it grows up i feel like this is that with extra steps i really don't like to keep a pet active i'm trying to take a break with my day-to-day -day life by playing runescape i don't want to look after something that's necessary to be like efficient in the game so I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the taming skill yet, by the looks of it. Train. The strong bond you form with your animal companions allow you to use their unique abilities and engage in fun activities with them. Ranging from traversing dangerous dungeons to playing a good old game of fetch, this will be the fastest way to train and level up your companion, training your taming XP in the process. Okay. That sounds more fun than keeping the pet active, but okay. Disclaimer, we know what you're thinking. Do you, Jagex? Do you, are, are you spying on me? Yeah, okay, let's continue. Animal companions, special abilities, isn't this summoning? The sh short answer is no. We intend to make taming feel entirely different. Okay. Here's the longer answer we know that many of you have reservations about summoning the community consultation revealed that you love the idea of animal companions 
In taming, your companions are permanent product of your efforts to train and befriend them. You can really get to know these creatures. Okay, yeah, that, that sounds better than summoning for sure. I'm I'm still not convinced. Content. So animal abilities. Training an animal companion will increase its level, meaning that its unique abilities become stronger. We're offering a huge variety of creature abilities. Some will help unlock new areas. Some will help with existing skills. And some might even help out you in combat. Although, as we said before, we are treading very careful when it comes to combat impact. That's very good. Well done, Jagex. An idea we've played around with is having your animal companion help you track things down. A flying creature could find hidden treasures in high places, while a more grounded one could help you dig up buried artifacts. Sounds like a lot of stuff is coming to old school with the skill, but this doesn't seem too bad. Doesn't seem too good either. I'm 50-50 on this skill. I don't have a strong opinion. I'm just in between no and yes. It's not sounding too perfect, but at least it's not horrible. Companions abilities let you interact with the world in whole new ways fangs fins gills wings oh wow that <laughs> rhymed these are all tools animals have that we don't with their help we can unlock new areas and new skilling methods exciting stuff and here's the summary i'd say six out of ten for taming not my favorite but not the worst let's see what the two other have to offer so next up we have sailing. This one is something that most of you have heard, most likely. And I've heard about this a long time ago for the first time and lately even more. Get ready to traverse the seas in search of an adventure as you begin mastering the art of sailing. Sounds good. Okay. Whether you're an explorer discovering what lies beyond the horizon, a fisherman hoping for a monster catch, a pirate looking to sink every ship in the sight, or even a courier looking to move goods from A to B, sailing has something to offer everyone. Sounds pretty good. So, core gameplay loop. Navigate to a port, obtain a ship, engage in fun activities at the sea. I'm liking this way more than taming, to be honest. I think sailing is pretty exciting. To get started on your sailing journey, you'll need to make your way to a port, obviously. Ship, you need to get one. Plenty of options to sh choose from. Whether you want to hire one, purchase, steal, oh, steal one. Sailing sounds pretty fun, to be honest. Once you've obtained your ship, you can set sail and start doing seafaring activities. This could include searching for a elusive sea monster, finding a new fishing spot, or just seeing what else exists across the far-reaching seas of Gilinor. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Sailing level allows you to explore more dangerous and ex exciting areas. Ooh. Disclaimer. Sailing pitch in 2015. Players view sailing as a meme. Yeah, that's how it is. They redesigned the skilling training method. Yeah. They are on ports. They are not going to come to the game. Okay. So the content would be would be navigation, active gameplay, and passive gameplay. Let's see what the rewards say. I'm just gonna go through this quickly so this video doesn't drag to be like 40 minutes. Reward space. The interesting motivation for training the skill, getting access to a big awesome boat. Yeah, we all love boats. Exploring the ocean is a major part of how you'll train it. Bigger, more awesome boats will of course get you the access to more content. So we'll be adding a monumental amount of stuff for you to do, including new islands, explore and bespoke training methods, activities and minigames. Customize your boat, expand to the ocean. Looks pretty good. To be honest, I think if I had to choose, I would ditch the taming and vote for sailing from these two. But let's do the final one, which is shamanism. 
sailing and taming are pretty easy to explain, but shamanism is a bit mystical, maybe. It doesn't ring a bell right away, for me at least, even though I kind of feel like like you can see the picture here with the pot and some poison fumes like witchcraft and nature and druidic stuff and so on so let's see what what we have to say study the magical power of nature through shamanism and unlock the ability to perform rituals okay so yeah sounds pretty good Gather components perform rituals and in infuse objects with the magic of the spirit realm Create powerful items like tikis, totems, and hold. What? How do you say? Poultices. I might have butchered the word, but okay. And augment your own equipment with, with powerful new effects. Your mastery of shamanism will let you unlock third eye. W unlock your third eye. Like, you find some mushrooms in the forest or something. What's going on, Jagex? And gain access to the spirit realm and communicate with the spirits lingering between these two worlds. Okay, yeah, that sounds, sounds pretty cool. Core gameplay loop is forage for natural components, gather spiritual components, draw a ritual circle and create powerful shamanic items. Sounds pretty fun, to be honest. It, it reminds me of herbalism in World of Warcraft where you just collect herbs and stuff from the ground so yeah i i see this fitting into old school the first step of shamanism involve foraging for natural components these can be gathered from all kinds of different plants and monsters throughout the world spirit disturbed sites are locations around gilinor with a special connection to the spirit realm you can find and gather spiritual components here, which can be combined with natural components in special shamanic rituals. I'm not following 100%, but we will see. Ritual, you can draw a ritual circle anywhere in the world, just like fires are used for cooking, ritual circles are used for shamanism. And much like fires, they can be drawn in most outdoor areas. Okay, yeah, that fits fire making pretty well. Create. Finally, bring your components and combine them into a powerful new shamanic items at the ritual circle. You'll be able to produce new items like tikis, poultices, oils, and totems. But you'll also be able to augment your existing gear with powerful bonuses. Okay, so have bonuses into items like magic secateurs, skilling outfits, and niche utility items rather than just buff your gear to be even more OP. That's my opinion. Disclaimer. The wild card. This is our wild card pitch. Instead of being a utility skill, it offers utility through the reward space. A gameplay loop feels old school, that's true. Mix of gathering and production, that's very nice. So the content would be... You'll need to gather two kinds of components, natural and spiritual. Once you have enough, you can create a ritual circle and start making powerful shamanic items. That's where the bulk of your XP will come from. Honestly, I feel like this sort of a skill where you have old school type gameplay, but you have a lot of weird new mechanics. This is a double edged sword for sure. The wild card. Uh, disclaimer here is pretty accurate because this can be horrible or this can be the best thing ever let's see what the reward space says so shaman items biggest reward for shamanism is the ability to create potent magical items and ritual circles poultices wards oils yeah da, 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 da. we're aiming for these rewards to provide valuable utility it shows the bandit armor here so improve your gear, whether that be a stat increase of your armor, a new damage type for your weapon, or more efficient skilling tools. As long as the armor and weapon upgrades aren't too significant, I feel like this could work very well. I'm, I'm gonna make a, maybe a hot take here, but this one is my favorite, and I think this would be, if done correctly, this would be better for old school runescape than sailing, but 
if this is not done correctly then sailing is the number one that's my end result from these three skill pitch pictures whatever you call this i love that jagex is doing graphics and this sort of uh summary of the skill and the pitch this is very nice to read for me it's nice to have pictures and and get a visual look of oh this sort of stuff is to be expected thank you very much for watching this video this was day 27 of my video every day challenge for march 2023 i hope you enjoyed see you tomorrow have a good one enjoy your day zeppa out peace